Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. This week's news podcast is sponsored by Helios Mobile. Elevator World and Helios Mobile have partnered to bring you the next generation in safety program management. Using a mobile phone or tablet, Elevator World's safety meetings can now be viewed and answered by mechanics in the field or at home using a simple yes-no question format, then digitally signed. The questions are then scored and results sent to the supervisor. With Helios Mobile and Elevator World Safety Meetings, you can create more time on the job and less time creating paperwork while maintaining a safe work environment. For more information and to schedule your free demo, visit elevatorbooks.com by clicking on the link in the show notes. This is your daily industry news update for May 15th, 2017. In today's news, Columbia Elevator has announced three new senior executives, a metro project in India is drawing strong interest, elevator industry leaders will speak at the CTBUH conference, and developers plan to build Slovakia's first skyscraper. Columbia Elevator Products has named three new senior executives. Jim Yates has been appointed Chief Administrative Officer after serving Columbia as President and in various other capacities since 2008. He will oversee such areas as finance, human resources, and safety. Mark Dinkus has been named Chief Customer Officer, having previously served as Columbia's Vice President of Systems, joining the company in 2004. His responsibilities will involve working with the sales, marketing, estimating, and engineering departments. And lastly, Kenneth D. Hendrickson has been appointed Chief Operations Officer. He joins Columbia with decades of experience in the industrial manufacturing field, most recently serving as General Manager for Aaron's Controls. Hendrickson will oversee the manufacturing process, purchasing, shipping, and overall quality control. The Times of India reports that the Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation, or MMRC, has received strong responses to an invitation for pre-qualification bids on a project to provide elevators and escalators for 27 stations on its under-construction Line 3. According to the report, 15 companies have responded, 8 for escalators and 7 for elevators. They include the Indian divisions of Otis, Fujitech, Schindler, and Kone, as well as India's Johnson Lifts. MMRC anticipates bid evaluation will be complete in about two months, at which point tenders of submission will be requested from shortlisted firms. Connecting the cuff Parade Business District with Southern Mumbai, Line 3 spans 33.5 kilometers and is the city's first underground metro line. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, or CTBUH, has released the initial speaker list for the CTBUH 2017 Australia Conference, Connecting the City, People, Density, and Infrastructure, on October 30th through November 3rd. The list includes Lyft industry leaders Michel Desmoles, CEO of Elevating Studio, who will speak on take control of your building's vertical transportation function, Vincent Ho, business development manager, Asia Pacific, at Magnatech, whose topic will be reducing energy consumption of elevator systems during modernization, Marcus Jetter, head of product development at ThyssenKrupp, who will present a next-generation vertical transportation system under test, Jeffrey Montgomery, Director, Major Projects, Asia Pacific, for Kone, speaking on maintaining the life cycle and increasing value of high-rise buildings, and Michael Niles, Chief Digital Officer at Schindler, who will address smart urban mobility.
a 168-meter-tall tower with 46 above-ground stories is planned by J&T Real Estate for a site on the Danube River in Bratislava, Slovakia, the Slovak Spectator reports. Part of an expansion of the Eurovea mixed-use development, it would be the nation's first skyscraper. Eurovea II would have a total of six structures housing additional retail, residential, parking, public, and office space. The tallest building would be close to the Apollo Bridge, with the overall expansion bringing Eurovea's footprint to 2.3 hectares. Also planned is a connection to the planned new Lido Riverfront Recreation Area. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast at iTunes or the Google Play Store. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the Elevator World News Podcast, just let us know by emailing advertising at elevatorworld.com.